So today's talk is the culmination of this series from Struggle to Well-Being, and it's Awakening for Life. And one of the heartening things I found about it is in the opening, Reverend Wendy very specifically, and by the way, I'm using her notes. So please know the assumption is if you like it and dig it, it probably came from her notes. If you didn't like it, it was probably just my stuff. We don't need to talk about it. So, but what really I found heartening is in the very opening, she talks about the fact that awakening is a daily process. That the ability to be able to stay in that space of knowingness, that idea that we are one with the divine, is something that occurs moment by moment, day by day, week by week, year by year. So as long as we are alive, and I'm saying alive in a spiritual sense, even beyond these bodies, then the truth is God is all there is and we are one with God. And a lot of the rest of the talk today comes from that truth and that sense of faith. And isn't that interesting? How many of you really believe in a divine intelligence that created the universe? Yeah, pretty, pretty immense undertaking. You think it might be able to handle getting us a date or helping make sure that we have the right job. But we forget because the truth is, and this is where it comes down to it, it's not that we're not trusting the divine, is it? What are we not trusting in? Ourselves. God is all there is is a lot easier than I am one with God, isn't it? Isn't it as easy to look at the universe and say, wow, yeah, everything is divine except me. Maybe on a good day I'm part divine, I don't know, it could go either way. I had a teacher when I first started this, and he used to teach something that I've remembered and stuck with me through my psychology training, uh, through being a practitioner, prayer counselor, all these things. And that's that if you get down to it, the primary issue that people are dealing with in their life as a challenge is one of two things or a combination. One is there's not enough, a belief in lack. But more than that, do you know what it usually is? I'm not enough. That's the core of almost every challenge we face in our lives. If we drill it down and drill it down and drill it down and look at it, it comes down to, I am not enough. Which is separation, right? Because for me not to be enough, I can't be one with God. And if I am one with God, then I am enough. And here's the really interesting thing I've realized. Are there times when it actually feels good to not be enough? when it feels safe? Are there times when having to fully step into our oneness actually is scary? One of the most important questions when looking at this idea of letting life, of letting life take over, of trusting in the divine source and in ourselves, when we don't, when we can't let go, when we're facing those challenges, a lot of times the question to ask yourself is, how is this working for me? How is not doing the things I say I want to do working for me? How is letting myself remain stuck working for me? And often what you find out is there's a payoff. Anyone here ever heard that it's pop, pop culture, pop psychology term, fear of success? How many of you would say, yep, I actually experienced it in my life. You can, you can make it as pop as you want to. It doesn't make it any less true. But so often when we look at what is in our lives that is blocking us, that is challenging us, that is moving us away, there's some reason we want to hold on to it. There's some reason. So one question to ask as you move into this process, as you start to look at letting go and letting life, is to ask yourself, is there a reason I'm holding on to this? Is there something that I am afraid of? Is there something I'm afraid I'll lose? Thanks for listening. The Unity Center, transforming lives and healing our world. Check us out Sundays at 9 and 11. Many people enjoy Reverend Wendy's talks and meditations and aren't able to attend the Unity Center in person. If you're part of our extended family from around the world and would like to help support the Unity Center, please go to our website or download our free app, which offers even more ways to connect with the Unity Center. Namaste.